Bang & Olufsen have just launched their new Beelit 20 portable Bluetooth speaker. I've been fortunate enough to have this speaker for well over a week before the official launch. So I'm going to give you everything you need to know about this speaker in this video and hopefully give you some ideas that you may not have thought of about its capabilities and what it can do to help you enjoy your music. Come and join me. I'm Steve from Sounds Heavenly. My day job is making the cables that connect Bang & Olufsen products and you can see more details of that on my website at soundsheavenly.com where I'm happy to answer any questions you've got about connecting your Bang & Olufsen products. But as well as that, I'm a Bang & Olufsen brand ambassador, which is why I was privileged to be given one of these Bealit 20s in advance of the launch date. And I thought it could actually be helpful to unbox this, show you what you get, and give you a bit of the background as to why this is so special, and tell you a few things about what it can do that may not be apparent from the usual online information. So first of all, should we get it out of the box and see what it is? I was gonna just open the box and start the review chatting about the speaker until I opened it and saw just how nicely packaged this is. So please indulge me for a minute. I thought we'll do a little unboxing. As uh, unveilings go, it's not quite at the level of Howard Carter finding Tutankhamun's tomb, but for me as a B&O fanatic, it's fairly close. This is really nicely packaged. I've been buying B&O for decades, and th this is a world away. It's beautiful. The back has got all the specifications. You've got lovely photos, of the, and they, even the material, the surface of the, the card is a, a lovely soft touch um, silk finish. So very, very nicely presented. And this continues as you open it up. And this is something you lose when you see the items on the website or in a Bang & Olufsen store. Underneath the polystyrene protector, we've got this beautiful sort of soft material and you actually get the feel that this has been gift wrapped. And it was when I opened this last night to this point and saw this, I thought, no, this has got to be shown on camera. So we've got a, a lovely pull tab. Everything's protected in this lovely soft material with another layer underneath. And you just get the feel that this is a, a gift being unwrapped. And I just wanted to share this with you because I think this is something really, really special and all credit to Bang & Olufsen for introducing this little bit of theater into the unboxing. And, oh wow. Now I don't know if this will show on camera, but this isn't just a pure black speaker. This has got royal blue highlights underneath the grill holes. And that looks absolutely glorious. I'm really seriously impressed with that. There's a weight and a heft to this speaker. It's got soft rubber pads underneath to stop it marking a surface. The blue just shimmering through the holes looks incredible. We've got this high quality black leather strap, which is really nice. It just feels solid, sturdy, and well put together. Very, very impressed. And I'm very, very happy to see that the three and a half millimeter mini jack audio input socket has also been kept on the Beelit 20. That has been a mainstay of all the previous models, Beelit 12, 15 and 17. So that greatly increases the versatility of the speaker, which I'm going to show you more of later in the review. And right on top, we have one of the key improvements on the Beelit 20. We have 
Qi wireless charging for phones that support it. So whilst my iPhone is an older model, for a newer phone, simply lay your phone on top of the unit whilst it's playing and it will charge your phone. We've got all the controls on here. We've got volume up and down. We've got Bluetooth pairing button. We've got a play pause button and power and an indicator light. So this is literally straight out of the box. Let's power on. Connecting. And there we go. So we've got volume control in the app, choice of listening modes, options for stereo pairing, wireless charging, and then product settings. So, shall we play some music? We'll do a proper sound test later. So we'll go back to my favourite local band Marvel, who you will no doubt have heard showcased on my channel previously. And this is not a full sound test, but let's have a quick listen through my tie clip mic. There we are. So we can adjust that on the phone. Or on the speaker itself. Lovely, really nice, full, rich sound. Easy to control, nice touch interface. Very, very impressed. The Beolit 20 is the fourth generation of Bang & Olufsen's current Beolit range of portable Bluetooth speakers. They started with the Beolit 12 in 2012, Beolit 15, three years later, the Beolit 17 in 2017, you see the pattern emerging here? And then now in 2020, we've got the Beolit 20. But it didn't start in 2012. Oh no, it started 82 years ago. And as I'm not really an expert on vintage Bang & Olufsen products. I thought it would be helpful to hand over to my friend Gavin Sykes from STB Brackets, who has probably the best vintage B&O collection in the country. And Gavin is perfectly placed to tell us what's so special about BioLit, where it all started, and how we ended up with a portable Bluetooth BioLit speaker. So over to you, Gavin. Bagan also started making knobs and, and fascias from Bakelite in, I believe, 1932. Uh, but the first radio uh, came out in. In 1938 and it's the Beolit 39 and a great many people know Beolit 39. Um, there are some interesting aspects to this um, that, that possibly not everyone will know. The grille design comes from the classic Buick Model Y yeah. which is a Harvey Earl design so it came from an American motor car and a lot of people get the grille design. Um, but what what we, we won't necessarily know is, without looking at it close up, is this, this came out, although it's Beolit 39, it came out for Christmas 38. So when you look at the, the Scala, the, the printed area, yeah. um, it says on it, Beolite 39. Oh yes, yeah, with the extra E. With an extra E, which was an error. Right. So Bio, um, this was the first time that the Bio prefix was ever used on any product by Bang & Olufsen. Right. Um, yeah. And the light, um, or the lit, and we'll have a look at that any second now, the Bio light or Bio lit uh, came from Bakelite. Um, yeah. So there was a, a Belgian guy um, who went to America and he discovered how to make this, this very first plastic. So that's where the, the Bio is for, for Bio, Bang & Olufsen, yeah. um, and the light for the Bakelite. So in error, the scholars were printed with beer light. But if I turn one of these round, in fact, I'll turn this one round, okay. yeah. uh, then you will see 
when they moulded the casing, Aha. it was actually beer lit, beer lit yes. without the E. Thank you, Gavin. So although the 2020 version of beer lit, the beer lit 20, isn't made of Bakelite, it's actually made of a very advanced grade polymer on the top surface and the base, high grade aluminium and fine grain leather for the strap. And I think it carries on the ethos of the original 1930s beer lits in that it, it has quite a striking design that's very practical. For their time, they were the first portable radios. Although they were mains powered, in the 1930s, most radios were heavy, solid, wooden cased units that had to be placed in one secure location and left there. Whereas the beer lits could be moved around the house and played in any room. And that's something that continues now, even more so because this is battery powered and can be taken out into the park, to a holiday home, to the beach. It's not waterproof or water resistant, but it is splash resistant against accidental spills. The choice of materials is something that's carried on in that it's innovative and uses high quality materials in a way that accentuates the design. So the shape that's been possible here is really only possible because of the blend of high-tech and traditional materials. So that's something that I think carries over from the original beer lits. Just a brief word about what we've got inside the box. I'm not going to open it up today. This is a brand new speaker. But what we have inside here is a five and a half inch long stroke wideband woofer, which is basically the base speaker inside. Five and a half inches is a good size for a a speaker cabinet like this. And the bigger the speaker conventionally, the more air it can move and the deeper and the louder the bass capability will be. But in addition, Bang & Olufsen have brought in a technology called passive bass radiators, which is something they've been doing with speaker design since at least the 1980s. And at each end of the speaker is a movable speaker cone, four inches in depth, which is not powered by an amplifier, but which is weighted and resonates in sympathy with that main powered bass driver. And it basically increases the effective size of the bass speaker and increases the capability of the cabinet to produce deeper bass. So that means in this case, you've got bass down to 37 Hertz, which is pretty much down to round about the, the lowest note on a grand, grand piano. So there's not a lot in terms of conventional music that this speaker won't reproduce faithfully. It's a very much a full range speaker. You don't get the deep sub bass that you would get on something like Bang & Olufsen's flagship speakers, say BL90, but that's generally something you'll get in movie effects rather than in music. In addition, there are three one and a half inch tweeters or high pitch drivers one on the front corner here, one on the opposing front corner, and one in the middle of the back face of the speaker. And they give you the ability to hear the same sound regardless of where you are or how the speaker is turned. From the angle of a speaker normally, you'll find you have to be facing straight in front of it to get any real faithful sound reproduction. Here, the sound is crystal clear regardless of whether you're behind it, to the side or in front. It is very powerful. There are two 35 watt Class D high efficiency digital amps inside here, one for the bass driver, one for the treble drivers. And you get a loudness of 93 decibels at its peak, which is, that is loud. That is getting on for the maximum tested loudness of a conventional commercial cinema. So you'll find that generally that sort of volume that you get with an explosion in an action movie in a cinema is almost where this can get to at its 
very peak. And I've turned this up fairly loudly over the last week or so, and the music is still sharp and clear, no distortion and uh, no loss of clarity. Now, so in terms of connecting your phone, it supports Bluetooth 4.2. You've got SBC and AAC codecs, which basically just means you've got the, the best ability to get your music wirelessly from the phone to the speaker without loss of quality. As we mentioned in the unboxing, um, on the top we've got wireless Qi charging, so you can lay a compatible wireless charging phone on here and charge the phone from the speaker while you play your music. You can connect straight into a PC or Mac via USB-C and use it as a computer speaker, or the three and a half millimeter analog line input allows you to connect pretty much absolutely anything. You can connect anything from a turntable like Bang & Olufsen's new Biogram 4000C. You could put a BSA 9000 into here and use this as the speaker, a Sony television via the headphone output, a drum machine, um, in fact, this actually makes a superb musician's practice amp. So other companies like Fender and Marshall have made similarly sized musician's amps to basically just take into the park and play music with your friends. And although that wasn't the initial intention of this speaker, it actually works really, really well for that. Although the weather is atrocious today and we won't be taking the speaker outside, I thought it might be interesting to later on play the, the video out with a little bit of music from the drum machine and some instruments that I've got here in the workshop and show you just what it can do. But first of all, we need you to have a listen. So we're going to do some sound tests. We've got a room measurement mic, which is intended to give you a very accurate feel of how the speaker sounds here in this room playing music. The music, as you may already be familiar with from my channel, is from my friends at the band Marvel. I use two of their tracks for my speaker tests so that you can go between different videos and hear how the speakers compare in the way they produce the same music. As always, I'll give you the caveat, please ensure that you're listening using headphones to get the best from these tests. Otherwise, you'll be hearing your speakers and the sound of your room, or you'll be hearing the sound of your own earbuds. What you need is something like Bang & Olufsen's H95 headphones, or here we've got some Sennheiser HD 599s. That's the starting point, really, to get the best from these speaker tests. So I've put some timing links in the video description so that you can click back and forth between the tracks, have a listen as many times as you want, and then when you're ready, we'll get back together and have a quick chat about what we've heard.
hope that that's been helpful. Please let me know in the comments what you think. I must admit I've been very impressed with this and uh, I must say a big thank you to Bang & Olufsen for sending this out in advance of the launch date. As I'm a brand ambassador for B&O, I've put a link in the description of the video which goes directly to the official Bang & Olufsen store so that you can purchase Beerlit 20 or any of their other products with full warranty and the best prices from their official store. So please use that link if you want to find out more about the speakers or if you're interested in a purchase. I don't make any money out of that, but it's helpful because it will show Bang & Olufsen that you showed an interest in the speaker after seeing my video. So as promised, Let's get the speaker connected to the drum machine and uh, I think what we'll probably use is a Roland SH201 digital synthesizer and we'll put a bit of music together. I think um, we'll use a track that I wrote back in the 1990s for a friend's musical theatre production. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. There will be lots more interesting and unusual Bang & Olufsen videos to come very soon. And of course, if you have got any questions about connecting Beerlit 20 or any other Bang & Olufsen products, please get in touch at soundsheavenly.com and I will be happy to help. Thank you for joining me.